Super PACs. Everybody is talking about them this election cycle. And while they sound like what you might find in a superhero's tights, they're actually much more creepy. PACs, or political action committees, have been around since the 1940s. They're private organizations that raise money for candidates or issues. Everyone from soda companies to pot smokers can form a PAC. And until recently, there were strict limits on how much money individuals could give to them. That all changed in 2010 when two Supreme Court decisions set off a campaign cash feeding frenzy. One said that laws barring corporations and unions from spending money for political purposes violated the First Amendment. The second one ruled the caps on how much an individual can give to an independent political organization were also unconstitutional. And thus, the Super PAC was born. Technically called Independent Expenditure Only Committees, Super PACs can raise as much money as humanly possible from corporations, unions, and deep-pocketed fat cats. There are absolutely, positively, zero limits on how much money they can raise or spend. And while Super PACs are prohibited from coordinating with individual campaigns, they're often run by friends or associates of candidates. So why does anybody care about these groups? Because we are talking big, big bucks going into influencing our democratic process. As of March 2012, 364 Super PACs had sucked in more than $130 million and spent more than $75 million supporting their candidate or trashing his opponents. Are Super PACs destroying our democracy or are they protected by the First Amendment? Let us know. Log on to takepart.com slash Tuesday, comment right here on this video, subscribe to our channel, and maybe send us a tweet.